teriparatide is one of the medication which is a parathyroid hormone analog this hormonal analog can be used to treat osteoporosis parathyroid hormone commonly known as pdh can control minerals like calcium and phosphate and it mainly increases bone resorption bone resorption is a process of breaking of bones where the minerals are released for recycling process on the other hand teriparatide is a parathyroid hormone analog which shows similar actions on the body but still it is having a different activity this medication shows more activity on bone formation rather than bone resorption how it is possible teriparatide is derived from the human parathyroid hormone from the end terminal of this parathyroid hormone 32 amino acids are included in teriparatide Due to inclusion of these amino acids, teriparatide shows its action just like the PTH. However, this is not responsible for its action on bone formation. And this medication is having a half-life around less than one hour and it is given once a day. This may be one of the reasons for its action on bone formation. Parathyroid hormone is an endogenous mediator which shows continuous actions on the body and it mainly increases osteoclast activity. Osteoclasts are mainly responsible for bone resorption leading to breaking of bones and release of minerals. On the other hand, teriparatide shows intermittent action. Since this drug is given as once daily at a low dose, it cannot show continuous actions on the body. Therefore, it mainly enhances osteoblast activity resulting in increased bone formation. So when this parathyroid hormone is used intermittently at low dose, it can improve the bone mass by stimulating osteoblast activity. That's why teriparatide can be used in the treatment of osteoporosis, particularly in the postmenopausal women. In such women, estrogen deficiency can reduce protection on the bones, leading to increased risk of fractures. In such people with high risk of fractures, teriparatide can be given to treat osteoporosis. Similarly, this medication can be used in the glucocorticoid-induced osteoporosis. Glucocorticoids are one of the steroidal medications which are used to control inflammation as well as immune response. However, these medications can increase the bone resorptions leading to development of osteoporosis. In such people who are having high risk of bone fractures, teriparatide can be given which increase the bone mass, thereby it can reduce osteoporosis. And for this purpose, teriparatide can be used both in the men as well as in the women. Another indication of teriparatide is in the men with osteoporosis. This osteoporosis may be developed due to aging, otherwise it may be due to primary hypogonadism. In such people, again this medication can be given to increase the bone mass. So today in this video, let us discuss about teriparatide, what are the clinical uses, how this drug works. What are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these key facts we will discuss in this video. Now let us see how this medication works. Teriparatide increases the activity of parathyroid hormone. These are the osteoblast precursors which are expressed with parathyroid hormone type 1 receptors. On these receptors, teriparatide can act as an agonist which stimulates their activity resulting in the more formation of osteoblasts. As osteoblast formation increases, new bones are more formed, thereby bone mass increases. In this way, teriparatide can increase the bone mass, thereby can reduce the risk of fractures in the people with osteoporosis. Now, what is the doses of this medication? Teriparatide is available as a pre-filled pens and it is given by subcutaneous injection. These pens are having the fixed dose of this medication and it can be given at 20 micrograms given once a day. This subcutaneous injection can be given at the thigh or abdominal wall and the site of injection may be rotated to reduce the pain at site of injection. How long is it used? We have discussed that teriparatide is used for the management of osteoporosis and it is given once daily. So it is intended for daily use until it significantly increase the bone mass and reduce the risk of fractures. However, this teriparatide should not be used for periods greater than two years. Since the safety of this medication about two years is not established, use of this medication greater than two years is not recommended 
within the lifetime. So the total duration of teriparatide use within the lifetime should be less than two years. Next one is the orthostatic hypotension. Use of teriparatide can produce orthostatic hypotension. It is a condition of drop in blood pressure with change in the posture. And this orthostatic hypotension can be observed within the initial days of the therapy. And this side effect can be observed within four hours after administration. Afterwards, it's slowly relieved. So within four hours, any low blood pressure should be closely monitored in the people. However, after several days of therapy, this side effect is slowly reduced. Effect on calcium levels. Teriparatide just acts like a parathyroid hormone. Therefore, it can increase the serum calcium levels. This action is mediated by increased release of calcium from the bones and increased absorption of calcium by distal tubule. It is transient. That means it can be observed within four to six hours after administration of this injection. In a few people, the calcium levels may be elevated greater than 13 milligrams per deciliter. The calcium levels may be remain elevated and after 16 to 24 hours, they can be restored to normal conditions. Due to elevation of calcium levels, teriparatide is not recommended in a people with primary hyperparathyroidism. The elevated levels of calcium can interact with other medications like disoxin. Effect on calcium excretion. Use of teriparatide can also increase the calcium levels in the urine, resulting in the hypercalciuria. This may increase the risk of kidney stones in susceptible people. Therefore, in people with any previous history of urolithiasis or kidney stones, this drug should be avoided. Now, let us the side effects of this medication. Teriparatide mainly produces a dizziness and orthostatic hypotension as two important side effects. And it can also produce pneumonia in the people, leading to difficulty breathing. Other side effects like nausea as well as insomnia can also be observed. It can also increase the state of anxiety in the people and hypercalcemia, elevated levels of calcium can also be observed. Even though rare, this medication can produce some muscle pain and joint pain in the people. A few people may observe allergic reactions resulting in the rashes and swelling of face and tongue. However, these side effects are rarely observed in the people. These are the various facts about this medication teriparatide which is used for the treatment of osteoporosis in people with high risk of bone fractures. Even though it is a parathyroid hormone analog, it is not affecting the bone resorption. Instead, it is mainly increasing the osteoblast activity resulting in the increased bone formation. This effect is due to its intermittent action on the body as this medication is given at a low dose once daily. However, teriparatide can be used up to two years. About two years, it should not be used because of elevated levels of serum calcium and the risk of kidney stones. Orthostatic hypotension and dizziness are the two important side effects produced by this medication. So that's all about the different facts of teriparatide. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and relatives. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.